Hi guys, my name is Gina Jamesville and welcome to a tour of the new architect homes in Sims Free Play. These architect homes came out around about the 12th, 13th of September 2018. We have 12 architect homes altogether, and as usual with these, some of them can be built on standard lots, some of them can be built on premium lots. I'm just going to show you them all on premium lots and pay no attention to the price down at the bottom because this is individual, yours will be completely different. But these houses don't look I'd say they don't look too bad, they're like seven, eight million simoleons, but compared to some of the houses we've had in the past that have been something like 20 million, these don't seem too bad. So let's get in and we will take a look at all of them. Here is the first house and this is a standard size lot and oh, this looks nice. This is a two floor house. This is pretty. I love these hedges that you get. I think you can only get them with a pre-built house and I really really like them so already I could potentially build this house just for those hedges. This is cute. Look at those sunflowers. What an adorable little house. Let's check out inside. I love that they've used the exterior stairs here or that they could have done with a post there to make it look like that balcony isn't defying gravity as it were but I'm just picking here I'm being being a bit picky on the details let's go in we have these wonderful folding quadruple doors which I love this is a nice little area I didn't know that you could put those plants on tables I've always put them on the floor they look nice on tables they've got a Scandinavian TV over there oh look at this this is nice Nice little bathroom area with some potentially rare furniture that you may not have. There's a nice open bedroom area that kind of just leaves. You've got another one of those quadruple doors. so that You don't get much privacy in this house, but that's okay. There's a villa fan, a huge king bed there. And then over this side is the kitchen, which is used the industrial kitchen, I think. That's quite nice. How do you get upstairs? Oh, the only way of getting upstairs is actually by using the exterior stairs. And then, so from upstairs, is it a separate house or... I'm not entirely sure, but let's have a little look. There is loads of these quadruple doors. I don't know whether they're LP or SP or whether they're just quite rare that you got them with the... I have no idea where you got these, for, these doors from. Something to do with the villa, wasn't it? Was it the Romantic Island or something? Possibly. This is a cute little house. I've got another kitchen area here. And another bedroom. No particularly rare furniture upstairs, I don't think. There is some of these windows with the blinds. They're like the villa windows, which I really like. That's quite a nice cute house. And potentially, it may have some things in there that you haven't got. And there is that Scandinavian TV. Good start. House number two is a standard lot and it's two floors. Ooh, this is nice, okay. This is off to a positive start. I like how it looks. And when you go in, oh, there's some kids' blocks there. Oh, there are some LPs. I don't think we're gonna have anything rare already. I don't know, you just get a kind of feeling that there's nothing too rare in here. There's a magazine rack that you may not have. This is a nice little dining area here. And then you can go in there to upstairs. Oh, we've got a nice kitchen here with a big black shag rug there. A big king bed. Who is loving the king beds, by the way? They are so huge though, right? It always surprises me. I build a room and then I'm like, oh, actually, the bed won't fit in now. I need to make it bigger. It's nothing... Oh, it goes all the way round to an ensuite area there. Okay, so nothing rare downstairs I don't think particularly let's go upstairs and we've got another kids bedroom there or oh, like this how they've done like the wall oh this is cool look at this the wardrobe is like a walk-in on both sides and a bedroom either side I like that uh, but there's nothing no nothing particularly rare in that house but it's a decent build this is the third house and it is a standard lot and two floor. So it looks like from the outside. This is quite nice. Lots of these black windows here. 
which is good. How do you get in? Is this the entrance? Yeah, I think this is the entrance here. Very kind of black house, black and white house. Nice entrance way, and then you can go over here. Wow. Nothing rare yet. I like it though, it's a really nice build. Hmm. Oh, look at this kitchen. That's nice. How nice is that kitchen if you've not got this black kitchen or this black and wood kitchen? Maybe build this house for that because that, you get quite a lot of the items there. That's pretty cool. And you get one of these ovens, the double height oven, which is really cool. I love them. They've got, hang on, what's this? Oh, yeah, look, they've got the fireplace here going through. Oh, that's pretty cool. I really love this build. Little sun lounges out there. This is a nice little cosy area. Imagine sitting here in the winter when it's all cold. You stick the fire on, sit on this sofa, grab a book. I love it. Let's go. Oh, you've got one of those <laughs> hedges. Let's go upstairs. What have we got upstairs? Kids room? Yeah, got a kids room. Oh, twins. Twins live in this house. Oh, look, this bit hasn't been decorated. Uh, what else? Bathroom. Mm, nothing rare, I don't think. Oh, there's one of those computers, the double screen, like, gamer's computer. I really like this. This is inspiring me to do, like, a black and white house. I mean, it's not got anything particularly rare or LP or SP or anything, I don't think. But... I really like the design, the build on that. That is really nice. Here is the fourth house. You know what I've just realised? There's a basement here. That's not what I've just realised. I say nice an awful lot in these videos. I need to find another adjective to describe things other than nice. This is, yeah, standard two floor plus basement. Count how many times I say nice from here on out. <laughs> many times a bit. Yeah, I'll try and say something different. Okay, what have we got? bathroom that sink you may not have i think that was i can't remember where, where you got that from was it something to do with the uh, the villa or was it with the keys the weekly keys i'm not entirely sure but that's a cool sink and then oh they've got wow you can't really sit there because <laughs> you get whacked in the face with a light but they've got some of them and they've got this fireplace which I love the decoration on that fireplace some of the old fish tanks which I used to love the fish tanks but now we've since we've gotten the new circular big ones these look pretty crappy right but <laughs> they do look good there I like how that's been done huge sofa oh, one of these cinema kind of screens there this is pretty cool we've got a little outdoor area oh look that's how you get outside not outside downstairs from outside. Can you get in down there from inside? No, you can't. Let's go down to the basement and we'll take a little look. A black chandelier, a big light thing. Ooh, little kids table, bit random. Another one of those fireplaces. Oh, this looks pretty. Look at that room, that's pretty. Some of these lights and the tables, maybe you won't have. One of these big beds again. That's nice down there. Right, let's go up to the second floor, and on the second floor, another one of those lights. Oh, a little kid's bedroom. Look at that. That's cute. And maybe like a teenage bedroom there. Another. Whoa, that screen's far too big for the room, surely. <laughs> There's nothing particular in this house, I don't think. It's a nice build, though. I love these. These like orchid, this isn't an orchid, is it? But what are these plants? Love them. Yeah, that's it. That's another cool build. Oh, it's got some blocks there. Oh, that was a prize. The little ride along. One of the early quests, the Inder Clubhouse quest, or one of those early ones that was a prize from. Cool build. Here's the fifth house, and oh, it's built on this nice lot. I love this lot with the fields. And what have we got? We've got three three floors and it is yeah it is a standard can we build on a standard oh look straight away there's the campfire 
that was the prize from the storytelling hobby, I think. Look at this outdoor bit. Look, I love that. What a cool idea to put the slip and slides as like a water feature. That's awesome. Right, let's have a little look. I think this is going to be a cool house. So you can access here or you can access here. Let's go through. Oh, this actually is... Okay, this is two separate bits because here you come in and there's a little desk. Not sure, really, to be honest, how that... What's that ironing board doing there? Why is there an ironing board? Oh, they've just kind of put it in. You can't access it or anything because there's a laundry room there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see, so... Nice. Oh, look at those flowers. They're pretty. I don't think I've seen them before. Nice flowers there. Ooh. Oh, they've got the that kitchen. Really nice. And what else have we got? That gold table, possibly. You won't have that gold table. That's quite rare. Look at this nice bathroom. Oh, it's got the rose gold accents. I like that one. The Because I think they do silver, black and rose gold. I like the rose gold ones. And then the laundry room. You may not have some of the laundry room. And that villa fan. Oh, these doors, I think, were available. I bought them. I don't know where if you can get them anywhere else. But I think there was a pack in the online store. Some fit, not too much, about $1.99. You could get these doors. And I think they're about seven different colours. I bought them. I like them. <laughs> so if you didn't buy them, you can get some of these doors. I don't think they've been available anywhere else. I haven't seen them. Anyway, let's go upstairs and, ooh, loads of kids stuff. If you weren't around for when we did the, the event where we got the daycare live event, I think it was, where we got some of these things. This is a nice room. Oh, I've not seen that bed in so long. That's like old school Sims free play, right? I don't even think, is it been discontinued in the game? I don't even think it's in the game anymore. If it's not in the game anymore, I'm definitely building this house because that takes me back. You, who remembers that bed? I'm sure it's not in the game. That's so cool. Right, let's have a little look. Oh, we've got lots of these chandeliers hanging down there. That's nice. Oh, I said nice. Sorry. And then, lots of these nice mirrors. I said it again. Oh, we've got a record player that I'm pretty sure is SP. Lots of, like, kids' achievement things here, I feel like, hanging around. Maybe that's, actually, is that just one thing? That's just one thing, isn't it? And, oh, this is cool up here. We have the outdoor cinema thing. Oh, we've got the unicorn painting that's a limited time prize with a quest. If you haven't unlocked these arcade machines, we've got them. DJ station there. This potentially is a pretty good house to build. We've got one more floor. Yeah, and as I said, we've got the campfire up there. Ooh. I may build this. I'm not sure, but... Oh, it's got one of those fireplaces. Possibly build that. I like that house. For the design, to be honest, as well as for the little things. Oh, look, it's got a little cheese sitting area down there. <laughs> cheese sitting area. You know what I mean. <laughs> is it What is it got? A cheese tasting? I don't know, whatever it's called. I like that house. That could be being built, possibly. This is a sixth house. It's on the same style of lot, but we are... Yeah, we're on a premium size this time. And we've got oh, two floors up and a basement. Let's just take a look. Oh, it looks like a very grand house. Looks lovely. Got a pool in the middle. Let's go down, take a little look. What we've got. Beautiful entranceway there. We have some of these grand stairs that you may not have. Really big dining area there. That goes off, I'm assuming, into it. Oh, yeah, look at this, into the kitchen. There seems to be lots of houses with this black kitchen. If that is something that you... Or one and these chairs actually the black kitchen and these chairs seems to be the theme running along with these houses and sofa sofa area like lounge why do I call it a sofa area lounge area <laughs> over here kind of like a formal lounge one of these fireplaces I love that chandelier is that from the wedding something to do with the wedding isn't it 
another little lounge area lots going on in this house and look at this cute little like conservatory that's beautiful all the little plants in there right let's go upstairs oh no let's go down how do we get downstairs i haven't seen stairs to get downstairs oh hang on there are the stairs oh there they are I missed them. Right, stairs, downstairs, stairs, downstairs. This fireplace is featuring a lot. Oh, another one. I like this house. Oh, look at this area. Like a little kitchen there. Is it like a hotel or something? I don't think it is. Possibly. Maybe it is. I don't know. But whatever. It's cool. Okay, let's go up to the second floor. So you come up the grand stairs to the second floor. You can come out onto the balcony there and look out. Beautiful. Oh, look at this bedroom. It's so pretty. I love all these things. This is really, really nice. And yeah, they've you put like loads of windows in so that you can look out onto the you know, into the little pool area. Although I don't think you can actually use it as a pool because there's no steps to get out or anything but that's okay whatever what else have we got lots of these wardrobes if you've not got those wardrobes this is a house to build there's tons of them pretty area is that glitched we can't actually do that can we unless we glitch put that painting behind there or can we i'm, I'm pretty sure we can't okay this house is really pretty with loads of nice little touches and i love it House number seven is a little, looks like a tiny little house. It can be built on a standard lot. And ooh, okay, it's very tall. It has five floors plus, wow, plus a huge basement. Let's, let's check out the huge basement first of all. How do we get down to the basement? Do you know what? It doesn't even matter how we got down to the basement. Let's just have a look what's down here. Lots of things. Oh, all of these like arcadey type things over here and a disco ball. Some bunk beds there. Some, are they bikes? I think they're bikes. Oh, a little gym area. Little Hedwig. I love it when the houses have a little Hedwig. Wow, there's lots going on. Serenity Reigns. Woo, right, let's go upstairs. And how do we actually, where's the front of the house? So let's, let's start from the actual front door actually it's just one big room really to be honest so we didn't even need to bother doing that i love that fireplace that fireplace is expensive are these the new stereos maybe um i'm not sure actually are they no i don't think they are i can't i don't know they kind of look similar to the new ones but i'm not sure <laughs> what else oh they're expensive i like those decorations oh there's another one over there Right, let's go up and oh, Scandinavian table. I really love that table. I don't think I've got any actually. I refuse to buy it. So many SP. Although, like, I do have 955 SP, so I probably could buy it, but I just refuse to. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, that table is SP. Let's go up again. Ooh. Each floor seems to have like a different theme. There's, ooh, there's nothing, nothing crazy where thing that um that computer. Nothing else really, but I, I really quite like it. But one more floor, yes, we have. I think this is like flats, isn't it? Some of the rose gold bathroom stuff. Well, there's a bar there. Well, lots of them have got hot tubs on their balconies, look. <laughs> yeah, that's a block of flats. Here's the eighth house. And oh, another tiny little one. Two floors. Standard size lot. I think it did have a balcony. Not a balcony. A basement there. Yes, it did. So, oh, it's got a little sci-fi car. Right, let's go in. And we have one of those, like, Apple computers. What else? Oh, we do have one of those ovens. Huge chalet. 
so far. I just think they are so, so huge. I rarely use them in my builds, to be honest. They're so massive. Let's go downstairs. And downstairs, oh, we have a little dog area with some dog toys. Kids, the kid sleeps with the dog downstairs. Oh, everyone sleeps down here, that's okay. <laughs> like they just shoved the kid and the dogs down in the basement. <laughs> but no, it's okay. There's a few laundry items here. It's a huge big laundry area. They've got everything down here. We've got a little TV room there as well, off their bedroom. And a big wardrobe area there. Hmm. Strange. Okay, and then upstairs. Two of the huge big beds. Nothing really rare or anything, I don't think, in that build. House number nine is four floors. Well, five floors, kind of. Four floors. I don't know. Four or five. <laughs> and it's a standard size lot. And it's got, oh, one of these retro TVs. I love these TVs. I don't think they're just so cute. I always put them in, like, grandma's house when I'm building. Something like that. So, how do we get in? There's no door. Oh, there's the door. It was it was disguised. Camouflage. Okay, so there's the door in. We have an Apple computer. We have a lift. This is only two floors. Oh, no, it wasn't two floors, was it? We have a lift and... Ooh, that's an odd look, right? Two fireplaces with the TV in the middle. All... Wonderful items though. This kitchen is rarely used, I feel. That is, it's worth SP, all of those. Ah, oh, I wanted, okay, I'm gonna build this house because I don't know where you can get this water fountain. Not water fountain. Uh, what are these things called? Where you get water from? You know what I mean anyway, it's this. I don't know where you get them from. I've seen them in a couple of people's builds. Like, I really want that and I've never known I've never seen them, like, being able to get them. So, I'm going to build this house because I want that. I don't care what else is in the house, but I just want that. I think it's six million, or almost seven million for me to build. Wow. Hopefully there's some other cool things. Oh, there is two fire monkeys out here that light up. They're pretty cool. And... Anything else? Oh, there's a centennial replica out there. That was a limited time prize. Please be something else good in this house. <laughs> it'll make me. It'll justify building this house just for the water bottle thing. I don't think that is. Ah, <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay. Oh, there's a disco light there. That's about all, though. That is about all. But oh, there's a bar and there's a cinema, a outdoor cinema thing. That house is getting built. Unless there's a better house that has got that water. Somebody tell me what that what the hell that is called down below in the comments. I'm annoying myself not knowing what they're called. But unless there's another house that's got one of those in, this house is getting built. This is the 10th house and this is a premium lot. It's got a sci-fi car. We've got a basement and quite a few floors, I think. Four floors. This is what the house looks like. It's huge. Nice top deck there. With lots of seating. Let's go down to the first floor and what have we got? A huge brown C-shaped chalet sofa thing there <laughs> with that little TV. Look, you need a huge TV with that sofa, I feel. And, oh, we've got two of those ovens again. Those chairs are popular. Look at that. Everyone's using those chairs. A gamer's dual screen computer. Hang on a second. What's going on with this wall? I have never seen this wall before. Has anyone else never seen that wall? Maybe I've just never used it. I thought that was like there was a flooring like it, but not a wall. Somebody let me know that down below in the comments. Have I just completely scrolled past it every single time? Who knows? I could have done, to be quite honest. And then let's go to the basement. It's down here as well. This little spa area down here. And a little gym. Cool. Then let's go up to the second floor. Oh, we've got a blue bed. I really like that bed. That's SP, I think. Oh, big mezzanine area over the sofa there. That's lovely. One of those fireplaces. 
that are lots of SP or LP, like 125 or something like that. Let's go up to the next floor and got a king size bed there. And I think the wallpaper is just freaking me out. I don't know why. <laughs> it just is. Oh, and there's some of these like outdoor seating areas. If you didn't get those, you may have missed the event where we got those. And last floor. Is this outdoor? No, this is indoor. Oh, look at this, how they separated it with the things. That's nice. Oh, we've got one of these. Oh, are these the fireplaces that are like 125? Not the other ones. I could have been wrong. I could have been talking rubbish about the other ones. But they're expensive to get as well. Hmm, and then, yeah, that's it. Somebody let me know about those, that wallpaper. I'm not sure about that house, to be honest. There's a few fireplaces and things, but possibly not something that I'm going to build. House number 11 is tall, but can fit on a standard lot. We've got lots of these windows. Check out all those windows. Wow. We've got a sci-fi car. Did we get a basement? We've got a little, oh, it's in a teeny tiny little basement for the laundry area there. Okay, let's take a little look. This looks like a really cool build. Oh, look how they've got the mezzanine. They've used mezzanines well here. So, first floor. Apple computer and cool stereo. Oh, hang on. Is this like a, um, maybe flats or something? Because we've got like a reception entrance area here. Possibly. Fish tank there. Yeah, this is like a little spa area down here. Okay, then let's go upstairs. And then, oh, I love this villa bed. It's so pretty, right? And this unit, really like that as well. Why is that lamp on the floor? Surely it should be up on the side. And, oh, we've got Scandinavian furniture here in this bedroom. And a little vanity. I don't think we can get that little vanity anymore. And then from here, we have to take the lift. So let's take the lift up. And we've got a dual screen computer there. Some bunk beds. A little gamers little station there that we got from the Teen Life, I think it was. This is a little cute area. Look at that bed and this little seating. Beautiful. Let's go up again and... Oh, we've got a nice party area here. Look. I don't think I've seen that colour decoration, like party arch thing before. I thought I've only seen it in like balloons. It's like an autumnal one. That's good. We could do with some of those. It may not be coming autumn for you where you live, but it is for me. It's definitely getting colder. Uh, yes, if you didn't do the party time event where you won all of these prizes, this may be of use to you, definitely. And then over on this side, oh, we've got, I love these, this little bar area. We've got the villa fan. This is nice. Oops, I said nice. Let's go up one last floor. Oh, there's a huge Buddha. Oh, I may build this. I haven't got any of the Buddhas. They're so expensive. I'm not sure how much, like, oh, is it worth it? Because honestly, I kind of want that, like, autumn me arch there i've never seen that before and i really do want quite want the buddha although i don't know where i would ever use the buddha maybe i'll make like a retreat area or something here is the final architect homes we have a basement and four floors on a standard lot and we have what do we have nothing here particularly oh we have an apple computer Scandinavian table. Oh, nice little area. Look at this cute little outdoor area. This is how you get outside. So let's go down. Laundry area. Oh, and everything downstairs. There's a lounge area. There's a bedroom. There's a little kitchen. Using that kitchen again. Very, very popular kitchen, that is. Let's go up and then to the second floor. Oh, we've got a huge big... Huge big area here with some little kids toys and some decorations and things. 
nice little mezzanine there and then let's go up again kids toys again kids toys are quite often LPs I'm not sure if any of those are particularly but hmm any more floors yeah one more floor it's got a villa bed there that fireplace um, not sure about that. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly rare, but maybe. Oh, th let's just see this. I didn't have a little look. Didn't see this balcony. Here yeah, we've got the outdoor cinema there. There seems to be a theme with these houses that lots of them have the outdoor cinema, those fireplaces, certain things that everyone seems to have. There are the 12 new architect homes within the game. Let me know if you are going to be building any. I think, I was hoping that another one of the houses would have that water thing, but they didn't. So I think I'm going to be building that one a few times because I would like to have a few of those water things. I'm just going to call it a water thing because I can't think of what it's called whatsoever. Let me know down below if you are going to be building any of those. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy taking a tour around the current architect homes. And I will see you soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello.